I'm so excited for this video. I can hardly contain myself. Hi guys. For today, we're going to be filming the long-awaited, the long-promised. I've been talking about this video for months. These are all of my favorite nude lip products. I have a video like this that I did like a year ago, maybe two years ago. These are like my, my tried and trues, like my go-tos. I always go back and forth between these and I'm so excited to share them with you guys because I want everybody to know about them. Like. We all need to be talking about these products and everybody needs to be as in love with these products as I am. All right, we're gonna start with lipsticks and this is what I have on today. I do have a bit of gloss over it, not a lot, just a little bit in the center. Um, but this is what I have on today and this is by Dose of Colors. This is a satin lipstick and this is in the shade Toast. These satin lipsticks are incredible. I love the shape of them. It's just different than your like traditional lipstick, I guess. I don't know, it's just, you know, it's cute to look at. It's a little bit of a different shape. Packaging's really nice. It's like very chic. I love the rose gold, nice and heavy. Makes you feel like fancy when you use it. You pull it out and you're like, yes, bitch, I'm important. This color is absolutely stunning. I love it. And did I say this is in the shade Toast? So um, the thing that I like about this, now like for me when it comes to lipsticks, I like a creamy lipstick or like a shiny, balmy type of lipstick. I'm not really huge into matte lips in general, so I don't really gravitate towards matte lipsticks. It looks good by itself. You don't have to wear it with a lip liner or a gloss or anything like that, which is what I like about it. It's like my perfect kind of like brown tone lipstick, but a little bit on the lighter side. I'm really into brown tones. And you can see in the light, hopefully, it has that sheen to it. It's very pretty. The formula is really nice really comfortable to wear which is why I prefer like a more of a cream uh, lip product versus a matte. Okay next I have two from Colourpop and these are also both cream lipsticks. This one is called Appy and kind of the same thing. You can see it's like a brown. Uh, very affordable. I think these are like six or seven bucks. They sell these at Ulta so you can get them there now. This has a little bit of like a pinky peach vibe. You can see it right there next to uh, dose of colors. So this is dose of colors here, and then this one is color pop. I'm not like a massive packaging person. Packaging for me is not like a deal breaker. I can appreciate it, but it doesn't have the best. It doesn't have to have the best packaging ever for me as long as I can use the product. It's a good product, and it's functional. Some people like really nice packaging, and I love that color pop does it at an affordable price because not everybody can afford super expensive, luxurious makeup. And I like that these um, lipsticks, they feel luxurious, you know? I just, I, I love that about ColourPop. I'm a big ColourPop fan. And then this one is in the shade Butter. So it looks like this. Go ahead and show you a swatch. This is a little bit more on the brown tone side. Like, it has a pinch of pink in it, but a little more brown versus um, Appy. So this one is Appy here, and then this one is Butter. It's a little pinky brown type of moment. But yeah, I just wanted to mention those two, especially because they're super affordable. This is from Maybelline. This is one of the Shine lipsticks, and this is in the shade Baddest Beige. This is so pretty. It's really, really shiny. It's almost like gloss-like. Looks like that. And then this is a little bit more on the pink side as well. But um, this is one that I don't really wear on its own that often. It's a little sheer for me, and although I don't really mind that, I just like this more on top of something else to make your lips, like if I want something a little more juicy looking. Um, but I just, I love the formula of it. Like the formula is so like satisfyingly good. I don't know, I really like it. I like these shine lipsticks, but a lot of the ones, like a lot of the ones that they have, the colors just don't appeal to me. This is really the only one that I'm like really into the color. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they came out with new ones. I got this a really long time ago. I've had it for a while. So maybe they came out with new shades. That's like definitely my most used and my most favorite because it's more of like that pinky new type of shade. And then let's move on to this one from e.l.f. This is a newer one for me and this is a cream lipstick. It's e.l.f. so it's very affordable. I don't know. I like that it's see-through. I feel like some people will say it looks a little bit like on the cheap side, but it reminds me of the KKW beauty ones and I don't know I think it's cute I like it this is like three bucks this is in the shade cream I can't remember if I mentioned that this is a newer one for me I haven't had it that long but I do really like it a lot I have been reaching for it quite a bit now this is a little bit of more of like a drier formula um, I wouldn't say it's matte but it's like 
a satin, but maybe leaning towards matte, but not fully matte, if that makes sense. So I have it right here next to the Maybelline one. You can see that the tones are all very similar, um, but definitely not as shiny as Maybelline down here. I like to take something like this and kind of stick it just right in the center, just to add a little bit more, if I want like a hottier looking lip. I really like this and it's e.l.f. Like you literally can't go wrong with it. Now I just discovered Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, I've heard of her, but I just tried her products um, I'd say towards the end of last year. Her lipsticks are incredible. Um, so I just talked about her lipsticks in my most recent favorites video and I do have two from her. This is the Kim KW. So pretty. I've used it so much and like I don't want to use it because this is like a $40 lipstick and can I bring myself to buy it again? Mm, I probably will because I love this lipstick so much, but oh god, this bitch is expensive. Okay, is it worth it? Yes. To me it is. Okay, it makes me happy, <laughs> but it's expensive. And I've used, like, I've used a lot of it. The packaging is so luxurious, it's so pretty. I love the little kiss imprint on the back. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm not sure, but I love that. Um, and then I, I don't know, I like the shape of it. So she has two different, or she might have a couple of different types of lipsticks. Uh, here's another one I'll share in just a second, but you can see this one is definitely more like traditional and then this one has like a different shape. I don't know, it's like the little things that excite me, I guess. But this lipstick is again like another creamy type of lipstick. It's like very, very light nude. It's the iconic Kim K nude that she's very well known for. And the reason why I like this, which might sound weird, but I don't know. I really do like it for this reason is that it's a bit sheer so you can almost see a little bit of your natural lip i, I don't want to say it's sheer it's like a pinch sheer you can see your natural lip through it and i really like that i don't know why like normally i like something like really opaque and really intense and it's like damn that is a lipstick i didn't know i needed a lipstick like that until i got this one and i didn't know it was like that until i put it on my lips um yeah i like it so it's here next to the elf one so again a little bit on the pinky ish side very comfortable too long lasting the formula is a bit weird it almost feels like a little rubbery and i don't know if that makes sense it's not a bad thing whatsoever that's probably just the best way i can describe it, it feels a little rubbery to me but in the best way possible this next one is hepburn honey and this is a little bit more my speed a little bit more of like an everyday for me, it's not focusing for some reason. This is, as you can see on the brown side, like I said, I love my browns. I'm gonna put it up here next to the Dose of Colors one. This one is Dose of Colors right here, and then this one is Charlotte Tilbury. So you can see it's more on the brown side. A Little bit of like terracotta almost in it, like maybe just a little bit on the warmer brownie honey side. I love this, it's so pretty. It's like very shiny, very creamy love it i really love the color i definitely want to check out more of her lipsticks she has like a ton of different lipstick colors i know pillow talk is really popular but it looked like super pink mauve like a bit too much for me because i'm more into like this color scheme if you haven't noticed i saw the video she did with tati and i think she was saying like she designed it because it's so flattering on so many skin tones so i think i'm gonna check it out Next one I have is from KKW Beauty. This is in the shade Nude 3. And here, I'll show you guys the packaging. I talked about this in my last video too. I love the packaging. It's like nice and weighted, so it feels like, you know, girthy, you know? This, I would probably say, is like my most favorite formula out of all of these just because it is so opaque. Now, this is like cream city. Oh my God, it is so like pigmented i love how it's like a thin formula and it's super pigmented you literally just have to go one swipe one swipe and that sucker is on your lips i mean it is just so like do you see that it is so opaque i love it i love 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 the formula so pretty i love the color um i like all of her nude lipsticks this is the only one that i have but i saw them in stores and i'm definitely going to try out more because i really enjoy the formula i wanted to get one and see how i liked it and then pick up more colors which i just never made it a priority to pick up more colors but i definitely am going to last three products i have are liquid lips i have two drugstore ones and then i have one from sephora this is from the sephora collection these are the cream lip stains and they're not super pricey i think they're like 13 or 14 bucks 
So not like high, high end, but not necessarily drugstore. It's basically like a liquid lipstick. It's called a cream lip stain, but it's a liquid lipstick. The formula is so comfortable. It doesn't dry my lips out, so I do really like this formula. Again, I'm like just a gloss girl in general, so I almost always wear gloss anyways. But um, when I'm just like on that rare mood where I just feel like wearing a liquid lip, I will wear this on its own. So this is in the shade 66. This is a new one I think they recently came out with. And it's a little peachy, and I'm not really peachy. I don't really like peachy on me. It doesn't complement my skin tone, but I really like this. I'm looking for somewhere where I can swatch this. I'll put it right down here. And I love this. I used to love 33, and I believe they discontinued it. It was like a more pink tone, but this is a little bit more. Come on, nope, nope, focus on me. This video is about me. <laughs> this is a little bit more on the peachy pink side. It's like just has a little bit more of a peach undertone to it. I'm surprised because when I saw it in stores, it looked more pinky nude, but uh, when you put it on your lips and it dries down, it actually looks a bit more peach, but it's very pretty. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, I wanted to mention this because this has like replaced my 33 since I'm, I'm pretty sure they can discontinue 33. Last two I have are from Milani and these are the satin mattes and I went crazy over these. When these first came out, I talked about them so much. I feel like everybody was like, okay, we get it you like them stop talking about them but i do i love them so much uh the red one is like my most favorite red of all time because they're so comfortable i have o2 lux and o1 lavish and number two is a little more mauvey it's like definitely a bit more on the purpley side but i'm including it in here because you know it's like whatever this one that i'm going to swatch right now is number one i'm going to put it next to the sephora one these are like a nice thin formula, so they're very comfortable. And this one is number two. I'll put this one down here and I'll show you guys the swatch in just a second. This is O1 and then this one down here, eh, 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 right here is O2. So you can see this one's a little bit more like purpley mauve. This is a little bit more like pinky-ish. Um, so pretty. I love them so much. I really am so obsessed with these. I can never say enough good things about them. I tell all of my friends about them because first of all, you can get them at the drugstore. They're quite affordable in my opinion. And then on top of that, they are really great quality. I love them. I'm a big, fat, huge fan. And those are the last two products I'm gonna talk about. This is the whole palette right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If I have accumulated enough lip liners to make it into a video, I'll do a lip liner. I know I just did one not that long ago, but I'll do another one if you guys want to see it. Let me know. I do what the people want, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you go. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!